Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. The Stormers have crashed out of the URC, losing to Glasgow Warriors 27 points to 10 in Scotland in a frustrating match, which I think the Stormers could have, maybe even should have won. Um, and a frustrating evening once again with Marnie Leibach, 0% off the kicking tee is probably the big story. There are 10 points he missed out there, two penalties, two conversions in the end. Um, you know, mathematically wouldn't have uh, made the difference, but it would have made all the difference in the world, to be perfectly honest, with regards to how the complexion of the game would have looked. So before we look at exactly what happened, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, Glasgow got the first points of the game uh, through the boot of Horde. You got man in the match, by the way. D didn't miss a beat, and that was a big difference. He missed, uh, he got every single one of his kicks. I think it was about seven for seven, whatever it was by the end of it. Um, and, uh, yeah, two penalties from him, the 19th, the 29th minute. Uh, Mighty Leibach had opportunities. Uh, I think it was about 22nd or 30th minute uh, to try. In fact, I think it was before, actually, Horn. Uh, so I think it was either side of the, the Horn penalties. Mighty Leibach had two attempts, pulled them. Um, and uh, at halftime, six points to nil. Stormers very much still in it. And um, the start of the second half, a bit better, to be honest. Uh, but... Once again, just not capitalizing on the, the chances they were creating, the pressure they were building. A big moment in the game was Sal Murat getting it, sent off uh, the other card in the 53rd minute. Uh, but Stormers actually kind of got galvanized by it. Ben Lodig went over for the first try of the game in the 57th minute to make it 6 points to 5. My Lee Bob missing a difficult conversion, um, it must be said, on the left-hand side, but uh, still missing it. But the worst possible response to that after you know doing so well to score that try, get themselves into it. They then concede the ball off the kickoff. Tupelotto, but it's Tupelotto magic. And uh, within two minutes of scoring their first try, they conceded a seven-point try. So with a net minus two across that time. So we're not, not ideal. However, game was uh, sort of the game was a bit of light was beat back into them uh, through Paul Devet, who scored a try in the 64th minute. Once again, Mike Ebok missing the conversion. It would have made a 10, made a 10, uh, sorry, a one-point game, which meant that a penalty late, for example, could have been enough to win it. Uh, but then bang. Inca the the, the, the the knockout blow in the 74th minute. Horn adding the extras. Thompson then coming on and charging down. And, oh, well, Johnny Dupesey's kick was charged down uh, in that final minute. And they went over for a very late try. So frustrating for the Stormers. Um, they continue to really struggle overseas. Um, I, I said so in, in my entire build-up that I'm not sure I really backed them in... Uh, you know, overseas conditions and was kind of, I suppose, proved right tonight, unfortunately. Uh, let's look at some of the stats, shall we? Uh, Possession-wise, Stormers with more possession, had more territory as well. Uh, sorry, less possession with more territory. Um, in terms of set pieces, Stormers, uh, scrums, sometimes, yeah, the scrums are pretty even. I think, you know, they got the better of Glasgow a couple of times. Glasgow got the better of them a couple of times. Lineouts, 92% uh, from the Stormers, not too bad. Uh, Joseph Dreva struggled with one or two, um, but Andre Hugo Fenter struggled um, with one or two as well. So generally it wasn't bad. Uh, 67% from the restarts was really, really poor. You can't really be having that, just inviting pressure. Um, but let's look at the, the, the attack. Uh, more passes from the Stormers, but um, post meters 266 from the Glasgow Warriors compared to the 117 from the Stormers. Not a stat that we usually see Stormers second place in. Five line breaks compared to one. Just the one line break from the Stormers. Really good defense tonight. Uh, from Glasgow. Uh, if we then look at the turnovers, one, five from the Stormers, three from Glasgow. Penalties wide, 11 conceded by the Stormers with the yellow car compared to the same for Glasgow. So, um, you know, discipline was a problem for the Stormers. And then attack completion, 93% uh, from Glasgow. Uh, they were asked to make 168. They missed just 12. Stormers were asked to make 161 tackles and they missed 26. Um, to keep them hand pretty even as well. Uh, in terms of the individual stats, Jack Dempsey carried the most with nine carries. Ruben for the end with eight. Achieve Damani. Uh, with eight as well. Uh, if we look at line breaks, uh, Sebastian Katsadera with two, Carl Stane with two. Uh, in terms of the industrious defenders, Rory Dodge, 23. Xander Ferguson, 20. Scott Cummings, 20. Uh, Matt Ferguson, 19. Uh, the best play Stormers player was Ben Jason Dixon with 17. But I mean, what a defensive effort is by some of those Glasgow Warriors players. And that kind of thing can make all the difference. Uh, if we look at meters carried, for example, Carl Stane, 114. Captain Fantastic for Glasgow. Looked really, really strong. Uh, it's back to the drawing board, really, for, for the Stormers, it must be said. And a frustrating season where I don't think they've been looking at their best. So I don't think this is massively surprising. I don't think they were going to contend for the URC. Um, because I think they have taken a step back this season. I uh, just haven't been consistent. And, and they've had moments, but they've also been beatable. They've looked a beatable side. I think that's what I've been saying throughout the season. When they're good and they're on form, they, they can look red hot. 
but they're a beatable side. And, and I think teams look at them as a beatable side, whereas I think teams, you know, will look at like a Leinster, for example, like, oh, how do we beat them? Even the Bulls at the moment, just thinking, mm, how do we beat them? The Stormer side is beatable and they were beaten tonight. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Smash like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.